time to visit the bike shop, don't you think? Yeah. So we were going to go from here to Kensington and Kensington to home. Now we're going to go from here to a bike shop to Kensington to home. Exactly. If this is the worst thing that happens, it's a pretty good trip. How long have you guys been traveling? We've been, uh, I don't know, we started on Tuesday. Okay. And so you're going from Grand Haven? From South Haven. Oh, South Haven. Okay. Yeah, to um, Port Huron. Okay. We're doing, taking it real easy. It's seven legs. About 50, 40 to 50 miles a day. Okay. Sheesh, we had to walk our bikes through that mess. Now we're uh, back on a sidewalk. This is the, I'm not loving Brighton, but whatever. It's what I call one shitty obstacle. Brighton is not proving to be easy. Yeah, it was not a pleasant trip out of Brighton. We uh, left the hotel. We had to go on a really busy road to get to a bike shop. They were extraordinarily helpful. D&D's bicycle shop in Brighton. And, uh, and then it was a nightmare through construction. We had to trudge our bikes through an underpass. And uh, now we are on a pleasant uh, two-lane road. Hello, Mr. Horton. Lesser pleasant yeah, rides. Not fun. <laughs> Josh, this may be the biggest feast we've had on our trip. Outside of maybe Mana, which was great. Um, it's been it's been fun. Uh, the, I, the biggest thing I take out of it is that I can do it, which I like. Um, you know, sometimes it's very peaceful, like the rides we do here on the trail. Um, you can kind of zone out and like think about stuff. Some recently we've been on the roads and kind of up and down and up and down so it's been a little bit less of that mm -hmm. but um, it's been interesting to go to all these little towns too mm -hmm. and see the different things yeah I've this whole time when we were training for this like I've been surprised with how much I've because <coughs> I kind of just kind of agreed to do it mm -hmm. um, but I ended up really enjoying it so it's been a good time yeah so this has been just really rewarding for me. I mean, it's. Yeah, uh, he's I mean, I set I out to do it. He likes it too, and it's nice. And I can tell that you're having a good time and are like enjoying yourself. So I it's am. been. A, it's been good. Yeah, it's been fun. I really like it. I'm going to do a lot more of this. So are these cycling shoes? Yeah, these are my five tens. These are great. So first of all, I have a Wahoo cadence meter on my foot. And it measures the uh, revolutions per minute on them. Oh, wow. And it's good. And so, but the coolest thing about these are, first of all, they're very comfortable. Mm -hmm. And they have soles that are a little soft. And so on the pedals, which have little spikes things sticking up, mm -hmm. they kind of stick to the pedals. Mm. And so you don't slip off your pedals. Nice. Yeah. And then what's the significance of the socks? Just... So these are um, wool socks, so they don't get grungy. Oh. Yeah, you can wear wool socks. Got, yeah, they match. don't get sweaty. Those yeah, are nice. Match. Oh my gosh, match socks. These shirts also don't get sweat. So these, this oh, is a yeah. this is a polyester, but it's a design for that. This is a merino wool. Okay. This is all the cool cyclists have merino wool shirts. Why merino wool? What is it? It, the wool, um, it, it doesn't smell. Okay. Um, and it doesn't um, get wet. Like, yeah. I mean, if it gets wet, it doesn't stay wet. Yeah. And so you don't get drenched and gross while riding uh oh it's very cool in fact when eddie eddie and i took a, a prep ride trip yeah. to a cider mill uh, near rochester yeah. it was the, it was and around it was really this hot. hot and on the way back i was like hey you want to get some ice cream and he was dad i want to go home and take off this shirt and it was <laughs> a cotton you know just a normal cotton yeah. t-shirt oh, yeah. and i t and i'm like wearing this i'm feeling i'm actually wearing something more similar yeah. to what he's wearing and he's wearing this it was this soaking. Shirt and it was like, and it must have weighed twice as much as it normally would weigh because it's just yeah. full of water. Covered, yeah. So I mean, the right equipment helps.
Goodbye, Josh. Thanks, man. Happy Sunday! Whew, it's a bit of a climb out of Kensington and it's 91 degrees and humid. Whew, five and a half degree gradient. Ha. <sighs> There we go. Not even max heart rate. And now we go downhill! Woo! Ah, that was a hell of a climb. So this is the beginning of the Huron Valley Trail. We're getting closer to home. Happy Sunday! Happy Sunday! That was a lot. So this is the Huron Valley Trail. This is the first time this week in this trip I'm riding on a trail and a route I've ridden before. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's kind of cool. Very nice. Now we go on single track with panniers. This will be interesting. Happy Saturday. Hey, thanks. Let me through. Right. Boom. It's getting narrower and narrower. This is a lot of fun. Woo! That was fun. Yeah, I always like that single track. It's, it's a good fun, good time. <laughs> Welcome to Wixom. Holy smokes, it's car after car after car. Thank you. Thank you. The Michigan Airlines Trail. This is awesome. Beautiful, they just surfaced this. Okay, we are now on the Michigan Airlines Trail. Uh, this is the trail that takes you to the I-5 uh, bridge that goes over I-5, goes over, I don't know, Michigan 5, I guess it is, and uh, takes you on home. Hey, Eddie, give us a uh, mid-ride baseball update. Where are we? The Tigers and Pirates are tied at one, and I believe the top of the fifth inning. Austin Romine just tied the game with a RBI single, and uh, Spencer Turnbull is uh, been a little inconsistent, but still pitching pretty well today. So uh, let's hope that the Tigers can win the game and complete the uh, three-game sweep. The three-game sweep! There she is, the bridge over M5. So we've reached the end of the airline trail. We are now going on my home trail of the West Bloomfield Trail. Very excited. West Bloomfield Trail. It's our home trail. This is one of the trailheads to the West Bloomfield Trail, including this nature preserve walk. I walk this all the time. It's gorgeous. Just an absolute beautiful trail. Uh, I love it. Well, Eddie, you uh, just rode a bike from Lake Michigan to uh, your house. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. We're about a half mile from the house. One sweaty kiss. Well, welcome to the Eichenhorn uh, Hotel. Yeah. No reservation. Get in the character. So are these cycling shoes? Yeah, these are my five tens. Eddie, recover the Nutella. Oh, yeah. Really dug in 